Hi, Jeffrey Pine Group. We are here to go over your week seven of tea at home spelling list. Um, so what you should have is your word work packet printed in front of you. Um, and you should be reading along with me as I review the list. Um, and afterwards, we'll talk about what we're working on this week. Ghost. Neighbor. Hi. New. Not. Unknown, rewrap, wrong, written, wrapper, unwrap, climb, limb, gnaw, and gnat. Your two bonus words this week are roughest and happier. Um, I chose this these words for two reasons. Um, one, because some of our words in this list are working on adding suffixes and prefixes, and these two have suffixes added. And then I also just wanted you to practice, continue practicing um, the skill of identifying when the GH is making up sound, like in roughest. And then also I wanted you to practice when you're adding ER to a word whose root word ends with a Y, changing that Y to an I, like in happier. So those are your two bonus words this week. Um, and let's talk about the rest of your list. This is a tricky list, but you can do it. Um, this list is focused on words that have silent letters that are just there. You don't hear them. You just have to know that they're there. Um, so we're going to talk about identifying those. Um, but first, I want to point out the words that have prefixes added to it. So like here an unknown, un is added there. So that means that it's not known. Um, same with unwrap. So if it's unwrapped, you've taken the wrapper off of it. Um, and then there was a rewrap is another prefix added here. So it was once wrapped, you unwrapped it, and then you rewrapped it. Um, so to wrap again. And then here, um, we have the suffix added er to wrap er. So just wanted to point those out real quick. Now let's pay attention to the tricky part, and that is the silent letters. So in ghost, you hear the g ost, but that sneaky h is silent, so don't let it trick you. Neighbor. So in neighbor, we have a silent gh. Nay. Burr. So be careful with those. High. So in high, much like neighbor, that GH, can't hear it. All right, these are interesting, and these are ones that are a little bit easier to remember because you can um, say them silly. So canoe, that's new. You can't actually hear the K, but if you try to, when you're spelling it, you try to say to yourself canoe then you'll remember that it's K-N-E-W, even though that K is silent. Same with this one, not. That K is silent, but if you say it to yourself as cannot, then you'll remember that there is a K in the beginning of that word. Um, same with, so unknown is kind of tricky because the you have that prefix un there, so I'm going to just cover that up for a second. So as you can tell, you can't hear the K again, known. So try to think of that again as canone. I'm going to underline there. All right, then here we have a series of words with a silent W. Wrong. So there's a W in front of that R. Written. Again, a W paired with the R that you can't hear. Wrapper. Once again, a W that's paired with an R, but you can't hear the W. And then, again, this one's unwrap. I'm going to cover the prefix un. And I want you to pay attention to wrap. Same deal as all the other ones. It has a W that you can't hear that's paired with the R. Paired with the R. Then in climb, can't hear the B. Limb, can't hear the B. Gnaw, can't hear the G. And gnat, can't hear the G again. So be careful with this one. Take your time. Make sure you really pay attention to those silent letters. And good luck. Have fun.